Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, Wednesday, January 10th, 2024. I pray that this morning you will have a wonderful day. I pray that the Lord will continue to be with you and keep you in all his ways. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 6, reading verses 1 to 15. That's Matthew chapter 6. And it says, Take heed that he do not your arms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Verse 2, Therefore, when thou doest thine arms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily, I say unto you, they have their reward. Verse 3. When thou doest arms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. Verse 4, that thy arms may be in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. 5. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Verse 6, But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when he pray, Use not vain repetitions, as the heathens do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. 8. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. Verse 9. After this manner, therefore, pray he, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever. Amen. 14. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. 15 and last says, But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. And I say, Amen. And the message this morning is really to the point. It is clear and it, it is admonishing us how we are to come before God and how we are to conduct ourselves. It talks about when we are doing things for others, we should not make it a spectacle. It says that whatever your right hand does, your left hand doesn't need to know. So in other words, you do something for somebody, you don't need to tell the world that you did something for the person. Because when you do that, it means, therefore, you did not do it out of the kindness and love of your heart. You did it for your own selfish purposes. And God does not appreciate or reward that. But he says, when you do it without any form of recognition, when you do it out of the love and the kindness of your heart, sincerely, God will bless you. And I say, Amen. Do not make a spectacle of the things that you do for others. That is not how you show kindness. 
it speaks about also when we pray. It says that we should enter into our closets and we should pray and prostrate ourselves before God. It gives the illustrations of the hypocrites or the Pharisees who love to stand in the public places where they can be seen by everyone to show that they are praying. God is saying that you don't need to do that. Go into your private quarters and pray. And mind you, the word of God is not saying that you will always be able to go into your closet. Sometimes you might be walking on the road and you might feel impressed to breathe a word of prayer. But just slip into a corner. If you can't slip into a corner, just pause. And even while you are walking or traveling, no one needs to know that you are praying. You can pray in your heart because the Holy Spirit will hear you. That's a different scenario than you going to just stand up just to pray for praying sake so that everybody can see, okay, I am praying and I am agonizing with God. No, God don't want us those kind of, of prayers. God wants us to come before Him in humility. And when we do that, he says, when we do that, then he will reward us openly. So don't make a spectacle of yourself. Don't make a spectacle of the things that you do. God is not looking for that kind of worship, not at all. And so we must understand what it is that God wants from us and give that to him. Don't give him what he doesn't ask for because we will not be rewarded or blessed for that. It goes on to tell us that we are to stop praying and repeating ourselves over and over, calling on the name of Jesus over and over like Jesus is deaf or like Jesus is at a far place. So you need to shout out and call and use all these fancy words. Remember that prayer is a conversation and God is looking for us to come and to have a conversation with him god is saying you don't need to do that you're coming to me to have a conversation and think about think about it when you are speaking with your friends how do you speak to your friends do you go to the, your friend and say ryan you know i went down to the shop this morning and i get some planting ryan came back and the rain began to fall and I got wet. Ryan, and every line you speak, you call my name. Think about how annoying that would be and how annoying that sounds. So God is saying that you don't need to keep repeating over and over. He's not saying that you can't call his name, you know. He's saying the constant repetition, uh, the same thing over and over and over, over and over. That's not how you have a conversation with somebody. And prayer is a conversation. You are pouring out your heart before God. So you express yourself. And in truth and in fact, that's not how you express yourself to others. You get what I'm saying? Are you seeing my point? And so he advised us and he gave us a sample or an example that we can follow. Right? He says that what? When we pray, we should follow that format. And he explained to us that this is how we should pray and you can read from verse 9 onwards and then you will see the format so treat god as a friend do not treat god as a atm machine or anything like that god is our friend god is our savior and god wants us to come to him in that fashion and finally he tells us that we should learn to forgive. I know many of us, we struggle with that. And sometimes we say we forgive others and we don't forgive them because we go back and we use those same things that we forgive them of or that we said we forgive them of and use it as a weapon against them. We forgive this doesn't work that way. When you forgive, you forgive, you forgive and you move on and so he says that if you want his forgiveness then you have to learn 
to forgive others. We have to learn to forgive others. We can't want God to forgive us when we are not willing to forgive each other. No, that, that is selfish. And so I admonish us this morning, let us continue to seek God so that He can give us the wisdom and the courage to do these things as we continue to serve Him. God bless you and keep safe. Amen.